Hey everybody, good morning. Y'all on Etsy, there's sellers who sells the coils for doing the uh, artwork, the quilled artwork. Okay, what I did, I cannot see to make the quills anymore, especially not this size, but I bought a package of loose and tight quills that he had or she had rolled up anyway this come from uh the england let's see britain great britain uh scotland in fact i think i think that was where it said yeah south wales anyway so this seller sent this to me and the way she sent it was just brilliant this is a, a pretty much hard package but she took this box and put my pack of quills in it like that and then put it in there and y'all they did not smash they came perfect and let me show you what i've done like i said y'all know I, I, I can't do this tiny tiny work but now this is even tinier than most this is using these strips that are one sixteenth of an inch if you can see, you can see there, it is one sixteenth of an inch. So it is very, very delicate. And I have a hard enough time seeing the big stuff. In fact, I thought these were going to be a little bit bigger, but they're one sixteenth. So I thought I'll use them anyway. When they came, what I did was just like here got my design the way I wanted I made two butterflies one a little bigger one a little smaller and then like this flower I set it here and put it together before I ever pinched anything what you're going to do I take these because they are so tiny and hold them and then kind of pinch them in the middle and that give me back my shape for my butterflies as you can see it's the same shape now like on this one right here all that is is I pinched on the bottom but I come up here and just barely rounded it to a little point and as you can see there you go it's going to be the same size these are delicate y'all very very delicate after I made my shapes, got them in the design I wanted, I glued them together. These coils, like I said, they are so, so tiny. This is when you definitely need your art glitter glue with the metal tip on it. Because the metal tip is the only thing I could figure out that wasn't big that I could get in there to do this and glue it. But I think these come out a gorgeous. I love these colors. There's that one. And then this one I made, and I added an extra couple pieces on top to give it some stability. Isn't that beautiful, though? Love this. Love this. This, like I said, is the very, very tiny rolls to work with. And, like I said, I put them out just showing you how, you know, you can put these together. Make a flower. Very simple. You see how simple it was to do these and then just connect them to make these. So, anyway, like I said, don't be afraid to try something. Even if you got where you can't see it as far as to make the end thing, there's nothing wrong with buying it and then creating something beautiful with it. No problem at all. And these were cheap. He made me a hundred, or she made me a hundred. I keep saying he. She made me a hundred for just a couple bucks. And, like I said, every color. So, you know, I'll find something that works back with whatever. Like, that one, I think, maybe is a little too tight of a roll. So, I can always change it out. Put something else in there. But, it's, it's very simple. Just, my advice is when you're gluing it, glue it flat to the surface. This is why, y'all, I keep a silicone mat to when I paint and whatever I'm doing I keep the silicone mat 
because with this silicone mat, I can glue, I can paint, and everything wipes right back up. It's not like I'm ruining my mat, because it's already pretty ruined. And I use my mat to cut my material and stuff, but this mat stays on my desk all the time. So if I'm going to be trace cutting something, I'll use it, but as long as it's just glue and paint and things like that, I use this. That way I can clean it up. It's not going to leave no mess on anything. But I just want to bring these to you and show you. So if you're interested in it, let's see. See, you can add the flower there, make it a leaf. There's different shapes. And let's see. And see, we can tuck a flower there. Or a coil there. So, you know, it gives it a least shape. So, if I glued all that together, I've got a little flower. And, you know, that that's pretty simple. I like that idea. I like um, being able to create. Like I said, these are a little bit smaller than what I was expecting. But, it doesn't mean I can't use them. But one sixteenth. Now this is tiny. I would recommend at least getting the quarter inch ones. Uh, most of your quill and paper comes in a quarter inch. But I wanted these to be very small, very delicate, and that's exactly what I got. And like I said, now they'll hold pretty good together after you glue them and everything. But I just want to bring you this and show you uh, that, like I said, you don't have to quill every little piece by hand. You can buy pre-quilled. And then just play around with it, glue it, uh, do your leaves. And when I'm gluing these, I glue side to side. And like I said, that, that's pretty tiny. It's 1 16th. So it has to be glued from side to side. And these coils, you just got to play with them a little bit. Sometimes they'll come out if you just real delicate play with them. They'll go back into where they need to be. All right. That's it. I wanted to bring you that and show you. Like I said, whew, that would load my little mind. By the time I got them, I was like, yep, I've been wanting to work with you, and I'm going to. So this is what it is. All right, everybody. Have a blessed, beautiful day. Sleep with angels every night. Know how much I love you, and God bless you all. Bye, darlings.